Well, this is something we've been talking about for a little while. This is the 52 inch long, basically it's NYX banded crate bow, but I backed part of it with rawhide. I used PVA wood glue, and as soon as I sort of looked at it after it had cured, made sure that everything was completely dry and set, that, and I had already gone ahead and done this, since it was, I saw the bottom six inches wasn't even attached. So I just went ahead and gently pulled and it popped right off. And that happened on both limbs. Part of that could be poor application of glue, poor contact surface, maybe I didn't uh, adequately sand and prep the bow, but I'm gonna say I don't really think wood glue is a great glue for this purpose. Would it work? Maybe, but for me and right here and now it did not work. Unfortunately since the rawhide is now covered with glue I can't give it to my dog. Nevertheless, we still do have that bowstring that I had made up yesterday. It's very nice and it does work. So I can go ahead and I can string the bow and show that to you. Right now the string is a little bit on the long side, but Mehmet suggested not to twist the bowstring, but I believe that's mostly just to keep a constant length of the string. So right now I'll go ahead and I'll string it and show you what it looks like. And maybe I'll play around adjusting the overall length. Believe it or not, this is actually harder to string than almost any of the other bows that I have. Oh, it's actually not even on. That was purely on the back. Since when I went ahead and made it, I didn't go ahead and pinch the two. Oftentimes, what's good to do is if these aren't touching, I'll pinch them. They support each other, then they'll be a little bit stronger. But just to get it strong, I wanted to try that. There we go. There we go. Like I said, about a five inch brace height. Efficiency wise, it's probably almost perfect. Kind of like to go out and try and shoot it right like it is now and see if it's substantially different from the, the ones that I had made earlier. I think increasing the recurve, the sharpness of the recurve might also help. So I'm going to go ahead and, well, maybe try that. I could heat it up and give it another shot. Since it's not going to be good for the rawhide backing, at least we'll get some fun out of it.